dear students under the topic correlation here we are going to solve the second problem calculate the pearson coefficient of correlation from the following data using 44 and 26 respectively as the origin of x and y normally when the values of x and y are given we can use one of the three formulas of correlation and we can solve it in this question it is particularly mentioned that we have to use the origin as uh, origin of x and y as 44 and 26 for this we have to use the deviation method where the deviation is me measured from assumed mean so this has to be considered as one of the assumed mean capital a and this as another assumed mean capital b and we have to solve this problem by using this formula that is uh, we i have already uh, given you this formula when deviations of x and y series are taken from some assumed values then the correlation coefficient r will be equal to capital n summation dx dy minus summation dx summation dy divided by square root of n multiplied with summation dx squared minus summation dx the whole square multiplied with square root of n summation dy squared minus summation dy the whole square now in this capital n represents the number of observations so the number of observations of x and y and dx represents x minus capital a and dy represents y minus capital b so we shall uh, solve this problem by using this formula now we shall now form the table for all the values of x and y so these are the values of x given so you can just uh, write the question by seeing these values and these are the values of y which is given now for all these values let us uh, draw the tabular column now so now here i have drawn the tabular column and i have written dx dy dx square dy squared and dx dy over here so first we will evaluate dx dx is equals x minus capital a so what is capital a it is given that capital a is equals 44 so this is capital a so dx will be equals x minus 44 so for each value of x we must do x minus 44 and we have to evaluate and we must write here for example 43 first value will be 43 minus 44 which is minus 1 and then the second will be 44 minus 44 which is 0 then 46 minus 44 which is 2 and then 40 minus 44 which will be minus 4 and then we have 44 here so 44 minus 44 is 0 and then 42 minus 44 is negative 2 and then 45 minus 44 is minus 1 and 42 minus 44 is minus 2 and then 38 minus 44 is minus 6 and then we have 40 so 40 minus 44 is minus 4 and then 42 so 42 minus 44 is minus 2 and then we have 57 so 57 minus 44 is 13 so i think everything is done and uh, i think here it is 45 minus 44 will be plus 1 i'm sorry by mistake i have written negative 1 please make that correction 45 minus 44 is plus 1 so now we shall proceed further next we have here dy so we have to calculate dy what is dy dy is equals y minus b the value of b given in the question is the second assumed value that is 26 so this is value of b so we shall do this now so therefore this will be dy equals y minus 26 so to a first uh, this is the value of y for the first one it is 29 minus 26 which is 3 so then 31 minus 26 which is 5 and then we have 19 minus 26 which will be minus 7 if you want i'll show you in the cal calculator also it is 19 So if you see here, uh, we have nineteen, okay, minus 
26 we get it to be minus 7 and then we have 18 so 18 minus 26 which will be minus 8 and then again 19 minus 26 okay 18 minus 26 was a minus 8 again 19 minus 26 which is minus 7 and then we have here 27 so 27 minus 26 which will be 1 and then again 27 so 27 minus 26 which is again 1 and then we have 29 so 29 minus 26 is 3 and then we have 41 so 41 minus 26 is 15 and then we have 30 minus 26 which is 4 26 minus 26 is 0 and finally 10 minus 26 which is minus 16 and so we have obtained all the values of dy and after this we have dx square that is we have to take the square of all the values of the column dx so here we have minus 1 what is the square of minus 1 it is 1 for 0 it is 0 only then for 2 it is 4 2 square is 4 then minus 4 square it will become a positive term and 4 square is 16 and then 0 so 0 again here and then we have minus 2 the square of minus 2 is what 4 it's, it will become negative numbers will become positive when we square it and then the square of 1 is 1 again and minus 2 whose square is 4 and the square of uh, minus 6 which is th 36 and then we have the square of 4 which is 16 and then the square of 2 which is 4 and the square of 13 is 169. So after this we have to proceed with uh, dy square the next column which is dy square for which we have to take the square of dy. So we have to take the square of these values and write in this column. So let us do that now. So if we see here the first value is 3. So what is 3 square it is 9. 5 square is 25 and then we have negative 7 so all the negative terms will become positive when we square it and the square of 7 is 49 because 7 7 times is 49 and then the square of 8 is 64 the square of 7 is 49 square of 1 is 1 again square of 1 is 1 the square of 3 is 9 and the square of 15 is 225 if you want you can just check out here also 15 squared is equals 225 so here we have the square we should just write the number and uh, take this one so it is 225 and then we have 4 so 4 square is 16 and then 0 so 0 and the square of 16 is 256 you can just check check that here 16 square is equals 256 okay so this is 256 and now we are left out with the final column which is dx dy so we have to take the product of dx this column and this column so we should multiply dx and dy and write in this column so, let's so when we multiply this and this so first will be negative 1 multiplied with 3 so it will be negative 3 okay because one of the number is has the negative sign and then 0 multiplied with 5 which is 0 and then we have 2 here so 2 multiplied with negative 7 which is negative 14 because one of the number is negative so positive into negative will become negative and 2 7 times is 14 and then we have 4 negative 4 multiplied with negative 8 so both are negative numbers so we will be getting a positive number and 4 multiplied with 8 is 32 and then we have 0 and negative 7 so 0 multiplied with negative 7 is 0 and then negative 2 multiplied with 1 it will be negative 2 only and then 1 multiplied with 1 is 1 negative 2 multiplied with 3 is negative 6 and then uh, negative 6 multiplied with 15 which will be negative 90 because 6 multiplied with 15 is 90 and one of the sign is the uh, sign of the number is negative so we get negative 90 and then 4 times 4 is 16 and we have a negative sign here so negative 16 
and then negative 2 multiplied with 0 is 0 and then 13 multiplied with 16 so what is 13 multiplied with 16 it is 208 and both if you see one is positive and the other term is negative so positive multiplied with negative is negative and the value is 208 so we have obtained all the values of this table now we have to sum up each column and we have to find summation dx summation dy summation dx squared summation dy squared and summation dx dy in order to substitute in the formula so we shall add or add this complete column and we can write i will add everything and i will directly write you can also add all these columns and write in the respective places so i have calculated uh, and i have summed up all the values of each of the columns and i have got got these values summation dx is minus 5 summation dy is minus 6 summation dx square which i obtained by adding all the values of this column is 255 summation dy square is 704 and summation dx dy is negative 306 so these are the values now we shall take these values and substitute in the required formula so now these are the values and this is the formula so we will substitute in this so the value of r will be equal to what is capital n capital n is the number of observations and here capital n is equal to 12 there are 12 observations so capital n is equal to 12 that is the number of values of x and y are 12 so 12 multiplied with summation dx dy what is this this is summation dx dy is negative 306 so multiplied with negative 306 minus summation dx what is that negative 5 so negative 5 multiplied with summation dy which is negative 6 the whole divided by square root of capital n is 12 summation dx square which is 255 so 255 minus summation dx the whole squared summation dx is negative 5 so negative 5 the whole square multiplied with the square root of capital n is 12 summation dy square which is 704 to so 704 minus summation dy the whole square what is summation dy it is minus 6 so minus 6 the whole square now let us simplify this by using the calculator so here we have first is 12 multiplied with 306 negative sign separately we can calculate okay so 12 multiplied with 2 306 306 which is equals 3672 and this is a positive number this is a negative number so if we multiply that we will get the uh, sign as negative so the value of r will be equal to negative 3672 so it is 3672 so this one and then we have uh, here a negative sign so we will put that negative sign now minus into minus becomes plus because here we have a minus here we may have a minus so it becomes plus and we know that 5 6 are is 30 so 5 multiplied with 6 is 30 so we shall write that now here the whole divided by square root of here we have 12 multiplied with 255 so let us do that 12 multiplied with 255 which is equals 3060 so 3060 minus now here we have the square 5 square negative 5 square if you square a negative term it will become positive so anyway this is going to be positive and this negative sign i have written here and 5 square is 25 and then square root of uh, 12 multiplied with 704 we have to multiply these two so what is 12 uh, multiplied with 704 which is equals 8448 so let me write that here so 8448 mm, this minus sign i am writing here and the square of minus 6 is it becomes 36 is it becomes plus 36 so here we have 36 and then in the numerator both the terms are negative so we have to add these two terms so what is that the first uh, is, is actually 3 6 7 2 and we have to add that with 30 and it, we get 3 7 0 2 and we, we should write the negative sign or or you can do like this also you can first write the negative sign and then 3 6 7 2 
and then again negative 30 which is equals minus uh, 3702 so it is minus 3702 the whole divided by square root of here we have 3060 uh, zero minus 25 so it is 3060 zero minus 25 which is equals 3035 so let me write that here 3035 and then multiplied with square root of 8448 eight minus 36 so it is 8448 eight minus 36 which is equals 3412 okay so 3412 so let me write that here I'm sorry, 8412. 8412. So now further simplifying this, the value of R will be equal to negative 3702 divided by what is square root of uh, 3035. So that we have to calculate. So square root, is, uh, your root is here. Okay, so square root of what is the number 3035. So 3035 and that is equal to 50 we will take the two decimals after uh, the point so 55.09 so let me write that so 55.09 this has to be multiplied with the square root of the next value that is 8412 so let me show that here it's 8412 and that value is 91.71 so let me write it as 91.71 one okay and so that is equals negative 3702 divided by we shall multiply these two numbers and what do we get when we multiply these two numbers 55.09 multiplied with this 91.71 so when we do that we get it as 5052.6 point, uh, so let me write that here 5052.6 now I, we have to divide these two values. So that's equals 3702 um, divided by 5 uh, divided by 5052.6 which is equals 0 0.732. Let me take uh, the first uh, uh, three positions after the decimal. So 0 0.732 is the answer. So uh, and we have a negative sign here. So we should not forget to put that negative sign. So negative 0 0.732. So this is the answer. So here in this problem we have obtained a negative correlation and the value of R uh, lies in the interval negative 1 and positive 1. So therefore our answer is correct. I hope you must have understood how to solve this problem. Thank you.